Okay. I feel like about a hundred miles of bad road. So I'm back from uh, Washington State and uh, Idaho and uh, the lecture and convention. I will uh, resume normal broadcasting in 25. <laughs> um, it was actually extremely unusual and not in a bad way at the uh, convention. Um, said I'd never given a lecture before and uh, I recited it you know, over a dozen times myself and I wrote up rather than pulling from my book I wrote uh, the lecture um, autonomous from the book to uh, eliminate some succinct points and I will be uh, doing the lecture in uh, seven or eight sections so later this week I still need like another 24 hours to recuperate this is the uh, the magazine that they actually created for the convention. And I think I'm here on page 57. Here's my ugly face. They even included the fireplace. Isn't that nice? If I sound tired, it is because I'm really, really tired. Honest to goodness, I talked more during those four days than I've talked for the past ten years. Um, people were grabbing me, not in a bad way, and they're like, oh, no, no, I want to talk to him, and... Uh, um, there on Saturday, there were several people fighting to have, uh, I'm not joking, I would never joke about something like that, fighting to, to, fighting to eat with me, you know, so they could talk with me. And uh, it was really unusual. I, I could never get a swelled head. That, that was, uh, I got so many hugs from so many people. And, um, wow, I went out to uh, eat uh, with... Uh, a doctor and a professor requested that uh, I go out with them. One of uh, Bab Babcock's uh, his name, and, uh, and then there's the guy on the right that uh, looks like uh, Santa Claus here. They're both really great people. We went to eat at Capone's, and they do a lot of scientific experimentation with uh, water and uh, other things, and they're asking me questions about unusual phenomena they see with uh, magnetic experimentation relative to water, and um, a lot of people were bouncing questions uh, off of me, and uh, I was even on a panel with uh, Eric Dollard on the last day. That's me sitting here at the end of the table, and there's Dollar right beside me. It was uh, interesting. We went, all went out to uh, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, to have dinner later that day, and um, um, very interesting. Um, well, I really do sound tired. Um, I did a moderate amount of photography, but I was extremely busy the entire time. I mean, it was... Um, also, too, uh, the people that saw the lecture that were... It was very fascinating. People were saying, that's the best lecture I've ever seen, and I, I would never make that up. I mean, like I was like, really? Really? Um, very self-deprecating. And uh, like, oh yeah, I mean, that was... The only complaint that I got is that I was talking too fast, which I knew that I was. And I, I was still slowing it down. For me, I was in, like, uh, low gear, but to everybody else, it sounded like I was, you know, talking like a squirrel on crack. And uh, I was even in the mall today getting a coffee just to go out and exercise and walk. And a guy came up behind me. He was like, I should have seen, hey, that's you. I live here. Watch your, all your magnetism videos. I wish I could have seen your lecture in Idaho. I was like, wow. Um, very interesting. So let's uh, resume the photography and the field theory, and I will uh, post the uh, eight or so sections in eight different videos or seven different videos of my lecture later this week, starting on Friday probably. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm so, I'm so exhausted. This is my lecture, by the way. How do you like the images on the back there? Yeah. Um, and it was... There were several women that said you, I had the audience uh, riveted. They were hanging off my every word, and it was so fascinating. I was like, really? I still can't wrap my, my mind around the endless, endless and enormous praise I got. I was... Uh, 
not expecting that at all. I mean, I since I'm not a lecturer, I thought, you know, I was going to lecture on Friday. I thought after the lecture, you know, I'll be there for like two more days, and then people will be staring at me like, "Ooh, God, you see that lecture? It sucked." <laughs> it was. If I had like some sort of fantasy of like a perfect lecture to give, um, like you know, everything just went so well, uh, my best possible dream would only rate like a five compared to this. This was like a 10 out of 10. The reception was, I still can't actually, uh, I still can't actually piece it together as far as, uh, you know, the praise and the handshakes and the, it was uh, really, really unusual. I must have loaded up about 30 thumb drives too. I said, I'm going to give out my lecture, my, my notes to people. And uh, some woman went out and bought three thumb drives and came back the next day, and I loaded them all up. She's like, this is for me, this is for my friend, and um, there's a rich guy there. And he says, how come you never put Bitcoin on your videos? like, well, I did, but nobody ever donated. And he's like, we'll fix that. So I installed an app on my phone and uh, a Bitcoin thing, and he opened up his phone, and it said he had $50,000 in Bitcoin. He's like, Shh, here you go, here's a couple hundred dollars. <laughs> it was really, really nice. Um, wonderful guy. Um, wow, this is what it sounds like to be so incredibly tired. People kept, uh, there was a bar there since it was in an Eagles meeting place. Everybody kept offering to buy me a beer. It's like, I don't drink. Thank you. Thank you so much, though. Can I buy you a soda? Everybody just kept buying me sodas. I think that's what happened to my blood. I don't drink sodas normally. I got so many free sodas. <laughs> Every time I finished a soda, people buy me another soda, and I think this will spike my blood sugar. Um, I, uh, I cannot... I literally talked more in those four days than I've talked in ten years in total. Not complaining at all. It was just like it's very unusual. Um, so I guess the lecture was a really big hit, and uh, I've been keeping on top, top of all photo news. And what camera did I bring with me? I brought my Fujifilm X-T2 56mm portrait in the 18 to 135 Speedlight, Godox trigger, and Godox Speedlight. That's my travel kit, so to say, since it's nice and compact and fits in my backpack really well. So thanks to everybody that was so very, very kind to me at the Energy and Science Conference. I, if I sound like I'm about to die right now due to, due to exhaustion, it is because I feel like I'm about to die due to exhaustion. Yep. Oh, everybody started calling me Magneto at the conference. They said, we figured out what to call you. We're going to call you Magneto. Some guy called me Magnet God. Hey, Magnet God. Like, hey, Magnet God, come over here. I got another soda for you. <laughs> what day is it? Today's Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. If this video rambles, this is like what it sounds like to be insanely exhausted. Not only that, but I was out walking today quite a lot, and it was like a billion degrees. You know, I felt like I was like two inches from the sun, so that didn't help any either. Yep. So everything kicks back into normal. I don't have to prepare for a lecture anymore, so I can devote nearly all my attention to everything else. Thank you so much for watching. Hope I didn't bore you to death. If you like these videos, click the link below. Tell me to jump off a cliff. There's people at the lecture that are like that, too. People are coming up to me jokingly like going, Hey, jump off a cliff. I'm like, ah. Um, there was like a dozen women at the uh, conference. About a dozen women. They were all like... I think all but one of them, they're all like, you know, it's so nice to me, give me a bunch of hugs. One, two of the ladies actually just kept hugging me. It's like every day is just more hugs. Not that I, there's anything to complain about that. So very kind of them. They were like, oh, you're not angry at all. You're sweet. You're a sweet guy, they said. I'm like, well, I, I don't know. I guess so. You're so giving. When I, uh, people said, can I buy, what really f was weird to me is people kept saying, can I buy your lecture? I'm like, well, buy it. Just give me a thumb drive. I'll give it to you. Like, oh, you're so generous. You give everything away. It's like, well, yeah, that's, I love giving stuff away, you know?
I wish that were, you know, if I had a bunch of money, the first thing I'd be thinking of not buying myself something, I'd be like, oh my God, I'm going to buy this person this, and I'm going to buy this person that, and I love giving stuff away. So, phew, God, I need some sleep. Bye.